Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x squared over 36. This is equal to 36 over x squared. So what is the value of x? Let's prevent a solution from here. Let's cross multiply here. We have x to power 2 times x to power 2. This is equal to 36 times 36. So x squared times x squared, this is in the form of a to power n times a to power m, which you can express as a to power n plus m. So applying this property, then this implies we have x to power 2 plus 2. This is equal to 36. This is the same thing as 6 squared times 36, which is 6 squared. And this implies that here we have x to power 2 plus 2. This is 4. This is equal to 6 raised to power 2 plus 2. And this implies that we have x to power 4. This is equal to 6 to power 4. So let's take 6 to power 4 on the left add side. So that now here we have x to power 4. Subtract 6 to power 4. This is equal to 0. We can express x to power 4 as x to power 2 raised to power 2. Subtract 6 to power 4, which we can express as 6 to power 2 raised to power 2. This is equal to 0. Now, this equation is actually the, in the form of the difference of two squares expressed as a squared minus b squared, which we can express as a plus b a minus b. So this implies that here a plus b is the same thing as x squared plus 6 squared. This is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 1. And we have that a minus b. This is the same thing as x squared minus 6 squared. This is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 2. So let's start with equation 1. Let's call this case 1. So this implies that x squared plus 6 squared, this is equal to 0. Now, this equation is in the form of a squared plus b squared, which we can express as a plus bi, then a minus bi. So this implies that x squared plus 6 squared, this is the same thing as x plus 6i, then x minus 6i, this is equal to 0. So this implies we have two parts here. We have x plus 6i, this is equal to 0, and we have that x minus 6i, this is equal to 0. So this implies that x1 is equal to minus 6i, and we have that x2 from here, this is the same thing as 6i. Now we have x1 and x2, so let's proceed to case 2. Now for case 2 here, we have that x squared minus 6 to power 2, this is equal to 0. Now, this equation is the difference of two squares expressed as a squared minus b squared, which we can express as a plus b, then a minus b. So this implies that we have x plus 6, then x minus 6, this is equal to 0. We have two parts here, that is the first part is x plus 6, this is equal to 0 and x minus 6, this is equal to 0. So x3 is equal to minus 6, and x4 is equal to 6. So here we have four solutions. We have four solutions. That is x1 is equal to minus 6i. We have that x2 is equal to 6i. And we have that x3 is equal to minus 6.
and we have that x4 is equal to 6. So the next step from here is to verify. So let's verify that these four set of solutions satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall from here, we have that x squared over 36. This is equal to 36 over x squared. So let's start with x1. x1 is minus 6i. So we have minus 6i squared over 36. This is equal to 36 over minus 6i squared. So we have minus 6 squared. This is equal to 36 times i squared, which is minus 1, then over 36. This is equal to 36 divided by minus 6 squared. This is 36 times i squared. So we have 36 times minus 1 over 36. This is equal to 36 over 36 times i squared. i squared is equal to minus 1. So times minus 1. So in this case, we can simplify here, 36 and 36. We can also simplify here, 36, 1. So this implies that minus 1 is equal to minus 1. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. So let's proceed to x2, which is 6i. So let's verify that x2, which is 6i, satisfies the equation. So we have x squared over 36. This is equal to 36 over x squared. So here we have 6i squared over 36. This is equal to 36 over 6i squared. So 6 squared here, this is 36 times i squared over 36. This is equal to 36 divided by, here we have 6 squared, which is 36, times i squared. We have that i squared, this is equal to minus 1. So let's substitute this. We have 36 times minus 1 over 36. This is equal to 36 over 36 times minus 1. So let's simplify here by 36, 1, by 36, 1, then 36, 1, by 36, 1. So here we have that minus 1 is equal to minus 1. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. Now, let's proceed to x3, which is equal to minus 6. So let's verify this. We have that minus 6 squared over 36. This is equal to 36 over minus 6 squared. So in this case here, we have minus 6 squared. This is 36 over 36. This is equal to 36 over minus 6 squared. This is 36. So if you simplify here, this is 1. If you simplify again, this is 1. So we have that 1 is equal to 1. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And let's verify that x4, which is equal to 6, satisfies the equation. Now, we have that 6 squared divided by that 6. This is equal to 36 over 6 squared. So 6 squared, this is 36 over 36. This is equal to 36 over 6 squared, which is 36. So this implies that if you simplify here, this is 1. 36 divided by 36 here, yeah, this is 1. So the left add, the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that 
the four set of solutions that is x1, x2, x3, and x4 satisfies the equation. So kindly of follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. See you in the next video.